All right. Now we're doing free code camp, responsive web design, build a product landing page user stories number uh, 13. Here we go. All right. So the nav bar should always be at the top of the viewport. I don't know about you, but I totally forgot how to do that. But luckily there's Google. I just typed in nav, pardon me, nav bar at top of viewport. Didn't even, didn't even say the. And we've got a W3 schools right here, how to create a fixed menu. So let's look at this. Here's some uh, stuff. Here's some words. Class navbar. Mm, I don't think that's all going to work for us. Ah, here's something. Position fixed top zero. I know we've done that before. So we're going to have to make some CSS for this. All right. So let's go look. Pardon me. Let's go look at the navbar. 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 So we've got ID navbar here. So let's go over to styles.css. Up, oh, up. Oh. Don't forget, we got to add this link rel style sheet href styles.css also. So let's get that first. Copy that. Come up to the top of the thing. Uh, let's say it right above header. So let's throw it in right there. Uh, and then after that, let's go back to the style sheet. Oops, like that. And now let's, uh, we're targeting nav bar, nav bar. So hashtag nav bar. We're going to come over here and say hashtag navbar, nav hyphen bar. That's our selector. Then we've got the curly braces. And what we're doing is we're going to have position fixed, position fixed. All right. And then we'll say top is now zero like that. All right. So now it looks uh, ridiculous up here, but we'll fix it in the next one. Uh, Will we? We'll fix it in this one. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, we'll fix it. We'll fix it in the, the next one. No, we'll, we should fix it in this one, honestly. All right. So let's uh, put this stuff going across the top of the screen. So make nav bar stuff horizontal. No, make unordered list horizontal. So let's say may, or just, or just make an order, unordered list horizontal. Okay, cool. Uh, use the display inline block property on the list items. Okay, so let's go over to list items. Uh, let's see, we've got that. Let's just say li right here. We'll say li display uh, inline hyphen block. All right, so we've got that going on. But that doesn't look good enough. Let's do one more thing. Let's do an unordered list uh, UL. And let's say uh, display block, display block. No, display flex. No, display, I don't know. Uh, display flock, block flex. How do we get it over there? <laughs> No, I did it earlier. I don't remember. Give me a second. I'm going to figure this out. All right. I'm to make the UL display a horizontal row. Let's try that. Let's try putting it in the UL. Display inline block also. Inline hyphen block. Nope. Let's say margin, UL margin. Uh, so 70, 75 PX. That's good enough. <laughs> That's good enough for us. There we go. All right. So let's uh, go over to the console. Come down here. Run the test. Our product landing page should use at least one media query. Looks like we're now on to user story number 14. And uh, we'll see you next time.